today we have a topic that is word governor well this is one of the governor and uh, word governor if you will understand this then let me make you understand one thing well i'm going to share with you derivation of word governor and it is quite easy to understand and to derive in the competitive examination all right so that is different different thing but today i wanted to make you understand another thing that is word governor is also known as pendulum type governor and there is another name that is known as centrifugal governor well there are many centrifugal governor okay but this is one of the type of centrifugal governor remember that but this is the single i mean pendulum type governor if you if you are talking about pendulum type governor then what governor is there so you need to see all these three things if you are preparing i mean if you wanted to know about what governor so you have to remember all these three things okay let's go for the derivation because this is also important so to derive what equation for what governor you need to know first that diagram the diagram play most important role so if you are preparing for university examination then try to remember diagram because there are few governors those are most important and most frequently those question, those uh, derivation asked in university examination just like what um, what governor is simple most of the times they don't ask what governor but if you understand what governor then you can derive the other centrifugal governor derivation quite easily this is my personal experience all right so let me share with you first diagram all right uh, let's so to draw a diagram there is a point you have need to remember first draw a center line then you have to draw like this and this put two balls here because what governor having two balls and then sleeve all right so these two balls usually what happen this is centrifugal governor so it's a, you know it what what happen it will revolve like this so the ball masses act the ball masses act outward the direction of the force i mean what the forces will be acting outward from the center of the center of this body so the outward force is known as centrifugal force all right so the here formula for centrifugal is a uh, centrifugal force is m r omega square m is mass of the ball and he from here to here distance is r and here we can find out i mean from after derivation we can able to find out the value of h h means height of the governor that is important my dear so we got it here mass and that's because of this mass will have there is a force acting here that is mg mass of the ball and acceleration due to gravity and the opposite side there is another force and here here we have got a force that is tension so if this is t and here we are making we giving angle theta theta both are same so this side t cos theta and this side t sin theta all right so if you can able to memorize or understand or even uh, can grab the diagram of what governor then uh, you know so i mean der derivation is just like that it's simple or quite easy you can easily do it okay let me make you understand and uh, let me make you to do this equation quite easily so first of all if there is a, if this is stable well this is stable then what will happen this time how much force is acting this side then definitely that much force is acting that side t tension and here again tension means force one of the force tensile force maybe you have heard or maybe you have understanding strength of material or okay any other subject i must say so here m r omega square is equal to t sin theta and here another thing mg is downward and here the same force is acting upward so mg is equal to t cos theta equation 2 right now what i can do right now equation 1 by equation 2 i can easily do it if this is possible so what will happen t sin theta by t cos theta is equal to m r omega square by 
M G. T D cancel out here. M M cancel out. Okay. So what we got here? T uh, sorry. Tan theta sin theta by cos theta tan theta is equal to R omega square by G. Now, just look at this diagram. If I will give name A, B, and C. From this right angle triangle, we can say tan theta is equal to P by B, means R by H, is equal to R omega square by G. R are cancel out, so we got only. We got only here. We got only few things to do. But let me share with you first. Angular velocity is equal to we know two pi n upon sixty. If we put this value here, here, then what will happen? Oh, first of all, let me just simplify this. One upon h g two pi n by sixty. Now, what is g? Acceleration due to gravity. So two pi n. So omega square by 60 whole square g 9.81. After simplifying this, so I have already simplified. Okay, what would happen? We got h is equal to 895 by n square. After simplifying, we got this value. H is height of the governor and is uh, number RPM revolution per minute, per minute. Okay, so this is it. This is all about what governor derivation, how to derive what governor derivation, and how to find out height of the governor through this derivation. If you understand this, then you don't have any problem uh, to solve even numerical. Uh, if anything is asking related to what governor i hope you understand something and uh, i hope you got uh, the main important thing of this governor so this is it and thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye